So I have a lot of hobbies that take up a lot of space. Uh, this desk really isn't cutting it. It's a nice desk, it's just there's not enough here. Luckily, the people I live with offered me their garage to set up as a workstation. There's a lot of junk, but it's nothing that couldn't be fixed with a fresh coat of paint, a couple of trash bags, and a dumpster. To fill out this space, I'm building a workbench. This one's going to have a ton of top space for all the things that I'm going to have on it. There's separate bays for the 3D printer and storage for the filaments so it doesn't go bad over time. And a lot of space underneath for storage. The software I'm using is called Tinkercad, also known as CAD software for toddlers. With this list of all the different kinds of wood I need, I ordered all of it in one go. Cut it all in one go, and immediately started assembly. So, so far, carpentry for me, has been, I can describe it with a simple example. So I brought a pair of scissors down here because I needed to cut that twine to hold those weights onto here until the wood glue dried so that these dowels would not move ever again. Um, yeah, so I brought those scissors down here and I have another use for them. The only problem is I used them here, I moved them over to the side, I have not touched them since, and they have completely disappeared. One of the problems with OCD is uh, I have about a dozen different tools here that I could use to cut this quarter inch dowel. And I was planning on just using the regular scissors because they're very sharp, they're good scissors, so they'll cut it well and uh, do a good job. Um, but I'm missing the scissors. Now, obviously, I'm going to just use a different tool. But the fact that those scissors are missing is like making me go haywire, tearing the place apart, trying to find said missing scissors. Oh, I should probably plug this in, huh? Sometimes I wonder if my constant forgetfulness toward filming things, like filming the actual insertion of the uh, pegs there, the dowels, uh, sometimes I wonder if that's like a defense mechanism, like I'm worried someone's going to tell me I'm doing it wrong or something. I think in future projects I'm not going to use dowels. I can see where they are useful, but I, 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 there's a certain amount of finesse and accuracy that I just I, I don't have. You know, it's awesome when I remember to film the full assembly process of whatever the thing is that I'm building so I can, you know, turn it into a YouTube video. And um, Forgot to do that this time. Here's my new workbench. Someone smashed into the telephone pole outside our house today. So I spent a bunch of time yesterday looking for my scissors. There they are. Yep. So that was a thing. The top coating is spar urethane, similar to polyurethane, but uh, more water resistant. And the final result is a very shiny finish that has this weird shimmer to it, a little bit like cat's eye. A coating of spar urethane to cover this thing. Um, looks very nice. I love how it looks. I love how it has a nice little sheen, nice sheen to it. But uh, depending on how thick you put it on, and I put it on very thick, uh, it takes. 24 to 48 hours to dry, so I'm expecting I can't touch this for two days, and um, a month to cure. If you're working on a project, and you take a break from that project, but you spend your entire break thinking about the project, did you actually take a break? See that? That's a face of defiance. That's the face of one who said no. No, we're not leaving the doghouse. 
too bad. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And here is my final workspace. I have a nice little rug set up so I can wear slippers on here. My desk is down here so I can do work. And look, there's space on it for me to put things. I have a big workbench here with a section specifically for electronics and another section specifically for crafting and for power tools. I got my 3D printer down there and all that stuff, but it's not sealed off yet. It's not good. Um, but I am going to do a separate video just on turning all of this into one giant beehive table. I also have a whiteboard and a cork board, so I'm going to get use out of a lot of these things. Now, all in all, this space is a disjointed mess, but I am going to be doing a lot of organization and cleanup work over the next few weeks, and hopefully this will be a clean, safe environment for me to do things in. Except for that guy. Screw you, spider.